Jesus fed with five loaves and two fish. With five loaves and two fish. Jonathan. 10,000 people. 10,000 people? Jordan. 10, men plus women and children. How many? 10,000 men. 10, men plus women and children. Any other answers? Raise your hand. 5,000 5, 5, men. Any other answers? 4,000. 6,000. 7,000. Okay, it's not an auction. 1,000. Not an auction. I'm not, I'm not trying to bid you up. 1,000 men. Okay, actually, Faber's right. It, it was 5,000 men. 5,000 men plus women and children. 5,000 men plus women and children. Now, if I came around and I started passing out food, what? good food, and I said you can eat as much as you want until you're full, would you like me? Yeah. How do you like me now? That'd make me a pretty popular guy, wouldn't it? No. Yeah. Wouldn't it? No. You'd say, hey, that brother Dave, he's got food. He's got good food. I think I'm going to hang out with Brother Dave. I remember when I was when I was a young man, I, I, was, in, I was in school. And my, mm -hmm. now my cousins are all a lot older than me from that side of the family. My cousins, are they were all grown up. They're still older than you. Yeah, they're still, well, some are dead. But the ones that are still alive, are, are some of them are in their 70s by now. They're a lot older than me. And so... My one cousin, Mark, I was out with him. We stopped at a convenience store and he bought me stuff. How nice was that? Right? Right? How nice was that? I said, I said to Mark, I said, I'm going to hang around with you. Now that's how the people thought with Jesus. <coughs> Mark, Jesus it. takes five loaves of bread and two fish and he feeds 5,000 men plus women and children. It was good food. Jesus. And it was free. I like free. Do you like free? What do you got to say, William? There was leftovers. You're right. Okay, keep your hands off, please. 5,000 men plus women and children fed them with good food. They ate as much as they wanted. That's like when you go to uh, when you go to Golden Corral, and there's all that food, and you can have as much as you want until you're full. And there was food left over. And the people, first of all, the people were impressed that he did that with only five loaves of fish and two, or five loaves of fish. How come none of you caught that? Five loaves of bread and two fish. They were impressed. That was a miracle from God. First of all, this guy's giving us food. He's giving us lots of food. And he can do miracles too. He can do things that nobody else can do. I want to hang around with him. Right? Who's with me? I want to hang around with him. Right? Jesus? And see, after that, put your hands down. After that, Jesus, now Jesus was by the, by the lakeside. We'll Yay. call the Sea of Galilee. Some people call it the Sea of Galilee, and some people call it the Lake of Gennesaret. Jesus! That's good, Jaden. That's good. And after that, he went over to the other side. Now, the people didn't know yeah. that, that he was going to. The people didn't know that he was going there. And they were starting to look for Jesus. Where's Jesus? Hey, we're hungry. Where's Jesus? And they started looking. And they started looking. And some boats started to come in from the other side of the lake. And they said, hey, Jesus is over there on the other side. And they found Jesus. And they said, how'd you get over here? Jesus said this. He said, you didn't come looking for the, you didn't come looking for God. 
You came because you ate bread. And you were full. You see, if I feed you guys, face it, who likes the snacks here? Me. Yeah? Me. Right? Right? Me. If I stopped feeding you snacks, would you still come? Yeah. yeah. Good. No more snacks. Right. No, you guys didn't get Hey! <laughs> Let's not do that. Nobody got snacks last week and nobody complained. Because you got prizes. Uh, uh, uh. Let's not do that. I hope you're coming. I hope you're coming because you want the Word of God. I hope you're not coming because I'm so good looking. Because, but listen, 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 listen. I got a secret to tell you. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not good. I'm not that good looking. All right. And that's kind of scary that you say that. So let's. I hope you're not coming because I am so knowledgeable in the Word of God. Because it's not me. It's God. I hope you're coming because you want the Word of God. That's why I want you to be coming. Now, Jesus, Jesus busted him. He said, look, you're not coming because you want the Word of God. You're coming because I gave you food that was good food. Already, believe it or not. Here's what Jesus said, though. Here's what Jesus said. Listen up, listen up, guys. Guys, ears open, eyes, uh, eyes. Ears open, mouths closed. Ears open, mouths closed, please. Here's what Jesus said. I've got more than just physical bread. He said, I am the bread of life. I came down from heaven. Then he really got freaky on him. And he said, if you eat my flesh, that is, if you eat my body, and you drink my blood, And the people are starting to go, what is he talking about? But I'm serious, it's right here. It's right here in John 6. He's saying, yeah, we got that there. He's saying this. He, and I'm reading out of the 32nd verse. Jesus said to them, most assuredly, I say to you, Moses didn't give you the bread from heaven, but my father gives you the true bread from heaven. For the bread of God is he who comes down from heaven and gives life to the world. And they said, Lord, give us this bread always. And Jesus said to them, I am the bread of life. He who comes to me shall never hunger, and he who believes in me shall never thirst. But I said to you that you have seen me, and yet do not believe. All that the Father gives me will come to me, and the one who comes to me I will by no means cast out. For I have come down from heaven not to do my own will, but the will of him who sent me. This is the will of the Father who sent me, that of all that he's given me, I should lose nothing but raise it up at the last day. And the Jews complained and said, they complained about him because he said, I'm the bread that comes down from heaven. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Okay. I know at least one famous person. Okay? I know at least one famous person. He's a he's a big time sports lawyer. And he he operates out of Kansas City, guys. And I knew him in high school. Now Miss Faith, her dad, knows a lot of famous people. Who 
If I ask you who is the best basketball player ever to play the game? Who is the best basketball player ever to play the game? LeBron James. Wrong. Michael Jordan. Wrong. Steph Curry. Wrong. Jesus ever played. Okay, listen, listen. Now, LeBron's good. He's, he's pretty good. He's pretty good. Okay? Michael Jackson. You said Michael Jackson. Who said Michael Jackson? You said Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson was a great dancer and a great singer. But Michael Jordan was. Michael Jordan was really good. Steph Curry, he's pretty good, okay? But I know somebody who's even better than all of them. Me. His name? Oh, gosh. They call him Larry Legend. Oh. Also known as Larry Bird. I'm sorry, he's better than, he's better than uh, LeBron James, okay? Sorry. LeBron James? I hate, I hate to break it to you guys. I hate to break to you. He went to school with Miss Fate's dad. I think he is. He was amazing. He was amazing. Now, here's the deal. Let, let me go back to the guy that I know, okay? His name is Scott. Now, Scott, you can tell me that Scott is this great lawyer. He gets all these coaches out of trouble. And he everybody loves him. And I'll tell you, I know where he came from. Where? He came from Western New York. He went to a little high school in Western New York. And when he was in 11th grade, he got caught cheating on a science exam. Oh, cheating on what? And you know who turned him in? You. So, they, you might say, oh, this guy's so famous. I go, I knew him in high school. You know, I knew him in high school. He was a cheater. But this is how they felt about Jesus because Jesus grew up in a town called Nazareth. And there were people in that area after he grew up, there were people in that area from, from Nazareth. They knew Jesus as a little boy. And Jesus is going, I came down from heaven. I came down from my father who's in heaven. And they're going, what? I knew you as a little boy. You're from Nazareth. You're not from heaven. Get over yourself. And see, they, had a, they started to have a problem with Jesus. Because Jesus said, I was sent from heaven. But what they didn't know is that Jesus was sent from heaven. Jesus was the Son of God. They said, no, he's not. He's the son of Mary and Joseph. I know, I, we, we know Mary. She's still around. And we used to know Joseph when he was alive. How can you say that you came from heaven? But Jesus was actually talking the truth. Then he started in with this, I am the bread of life. Most assuredly, I say to you, unless you eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink his blood, you have no life in you. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood has eternal life, and I will raise him up on the last day. For my flesh is food indeed, and my blood is drink indeed. And he who eats my flesh and drinks my blood abides in me, and I am him. And I go, what? Are we some kind of a vampire or something? We're not going to eat your body, and we're not going to drink your blood. That's not happening. But he wasn't talking about literally eating his body and literally drinking his blood. See, Jesus knew. Jesus knew that he was appointed to die for our sins. That his body would be broken.
broken on the cross, you need to keep your hands to yourself. And that his blood would be spilled out on the cross. And if we would believe in him, and this is why we take communion, it's saying that we believe in him, that we want to get into God so much that we understand that it's, his body was broken for us. His blood was shed for us to cleanse us from our sins. What does that mean to cleanse us? When you get, when you go to the bathroom and afterward you wash your hands, please tell me you wash your hands. Yeah. I do. Hopefully you use soap. That's cleansing. You are cleansing your hands because your hands were dirty. Now you're getting them clean. And that's what Jesus was saying. I will. It is my body. Because of my body and my blood, you can be clean. And they're, start, they're thinking, he's talking about us eating his actual body. We don't want anything of it. And here's the thing. People said, I'm checking out. Okay, look, Jesus, it was nice following you, but we're done here. We're done here. That's not what Jesus was talking about. Get into Jesus. Start reading the Bible. Start understanding who He is. The times that we have here singing. Get into those times and you'll start to feel His presence in you. Communicate with God. What does that mean when you communicate with God? What's the word called? Pray. It's praying. And you'll find a relationship with God that you've never known before. Now I've got to stop because it's time. Don't worry about... Time to leave. He's not talking about literally eating his flesh and drinking his blood. He's talking about become part of me. Learn of me. Get into, get into the gospel. And understand that it's because of his blood and his body being broken that we have eternal life. Everybody bow your heads, close your eyes. Father, we thank you. We thank you because you did come to give us eternal life. And no, Lord, we are not going to literally eat your flesh or literally drink your blood. But we want to be consumed by you. We want to be every part of our, our being. We want to be in touch with you. And Lord, I pray that you would make it so on every child here. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen.